Welcome to our journey on the stunning MSC Seashore. We sailed on a four-day cruise visiting MSC's private island, Ocean Key, and the vibrant city of Nassau, Bahamas. Join us as we share what we liked and what we disliked about sailing on the MSC Seashore. We tell you our honest opinions and give you suggestions on how to make the most of your cruise vacation. Hi everyone, I'm Laurie. And I'm William. And we're with Journey with the Gingers. It's usually me and my daughter, but William is on this cruise with me, so he's part of the Journey with the Gingers too. So we are currently sailing on the MSC Seashore, and in today's video, we're gonna share with you our likes and our dislikes about cruising with MSC. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we invite you to do so. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We would definitely appreciate it. So one of my likes for pre-cruise um, things that MSC does is I like that they do status match. This is our first cruise with MSC and they status matched us. And what that means is you go online, you fill out a quick form and you have to do it individually and you have to have a picture proof of your status with other cruise lines and some hotel chains. So I am platinum with Carnival, William is Gold, gold with Carnival. So we both did status match and I was assigned gold with MSC and William was assigned silver with MSC. And gold is the second to the top level. So we did get a few perks with that, like a gift in our stateroom, um, things like that. And we did, you do get access to the thermal spa for one time for an hour. Um, so it's, it's just a nice thing they do for you. We're also getting invited to a reception today um, because we are, because I am gold. And when you, whoever's the highest person that, in your cabin, the other person gets the same part. So that's a good thing. Okay, the cost of the MAC cruise we liked real well. <laughs> it is definitely a plus. Um, right now, MSC has some great rates. Um, and if you're looking for a travel agent that can help you with that, I can do that. Uh, the information is in the description below. But yes, MSC has great rates. Um, we did get an upgrade at the last minute here for not too much. But the initial price of the cruise for a balcony was about with everything about $1,200 at the time when we booked it. So I'm not saying that's all the time, but we got an amazing price, $1,200 for both of us together with everything. But we did get an amazing price on this cruise and I've heard a lot of other people say that they found some great deals with MSC. So a negative, pre-cruise negative for me was the um, website, working on the website and trying to book things and also, just the communication from MSC as far as being able to call the phone number. Um, that was the job in itself. They weren't the um, easiest to get in touch with, but the website for us was down for like two weeks. We never could get back on it. Luckily we had booked something before it went down, but every time we got on it, it said weird messages like, you're on the wrong website for the, your country and I wasn't so it was just I feel like if they can get somebody to really take over their technology and repair it I think it would be a great benefit to the company yes or negative for me from SC is having total access um, to the daily activities for the entire cruise it's only accessible daily for that day and be able to plan your entire thing out would be a good thing. Yeah, they do give you the daily, the next day's activity on a, on a sheet the night before, but we just like, I guess we're used to other cruise lines where you can kind of see the, uh, the agendas or the activities for the whole week in the app, and they just release it each morning, which you do get the sheet the night before. But if you're looking for the app for, like yesterday, we're wondering what was the show for tonight, because we need to make a reservation. Sorry, they're making announcements on one of these ships. We're in Nassau. <laughs> um, but the, for us, we like to kind of plan more, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not a horrible thing, but it, if you want to reserve a show and all that, you can't do it till the day of on the app. All right, so let's talk about the food and the 
in on MSC. We were scared that we were going to get some horrible food by some of the reviews we have seen on YouTube. <laughs> and it is not horrible, y'all. No, it's not. <laughs> it's good. It's actually really, really good. I mean, I, I, I think it's seasoned. I mean, you might need to add a little salt. Yeah, we, well, we had seen some videos that the food wasn't seasoned and things like that. But they have salt and pepper on the table. I mean, it's not like it's totally bland or anything like that. But we have, um, we did, we were on a four day cruise and we purchased the dining package. And so we did have three dinners in, in the dining room, I mean, in the specialty dining rooms. And we had one MDR main dining room meal. And that was really good. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I understand people have had experiences where what the food wasn't good. We have had no problems um, finding some good stuff to eat. Oh yeah. So let's talk about the buffet for a minute. So I'm going to tell you my positives and negatives and William's going to tell you his positives and negatives. So for the buffet for me, my positive is that they have a cappuccino macchiato and <laughs> espresso machine that's free to use, um, made with fresh beans. I mean my favorite machine in this buffet because <laughs> I love coffee. So that's definitely a positive for me. Um, also another positive is the pizza. Now they have, they have like a pan pizza in one station. That wasn't my favorite, but the thin slice pizza, best pizza I've ever pizza. had on a cruise ship. Yeah. Yes. So is. I've had pizza for lunch, I think every day. <laughs> and they're huge slices, like one, one slice will fill you up. So pizza and then the other thing that I know William has enjoyed and I mean they're tasty but they're really sweet for me that they have some mornings on the buffet they have fresh um, donuts and for those of you who like donuts they're good donuts yeah they are good donuts. yeah um, the negative for me may be that they don't have as many choices but I don't know if that's a negative either because I feel like mm -hmm. I always found something I wanted yeah I it's, mean the it's just that if you're used to having like a huge buffet with m many, many stations, like the Indian station and all that, we didn't find that. Right. But we did find choices. You can tell we're not starving. No. <laughs> so, but I, I, and also another positive for me is that MSC has the flavored water, like strawberry, oh, yes. kiwi, and all that. Yes. And I love flavored water. So those, I had no problems with the buffet, main dining room, or specialty restaurants. I love the food on here. Um, I love the buffet, especially, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, during breakfast, the breakfast buffet, uh, they have bacon all the time. So far they've had uh, lots and bagels. Um, so it's my favorite. <laughs> lots and bagels are definitely my favorite. Mm -hmm. So on a lot of cruise ships, they have it or, you know, you, you miss it, hit it, whatever, but they have it every day okay. and it's really good. And um, also, some cruise ships don't have bacon every day. They, oh yeah, yeah. Bacon every day. They've had bacon you. every day. Yeah. So and then they they expand. They they give you some variety, you know, of other stuff um, that I've never had before. But what's your negative about the buffet? Um, two things. <laughs> the negative for me is I wish they had more sliced fruit, yeah. more sliced watermelon and stuff like that, and other fruit. Uh, the other thing is they don't have an, you know, made to order omelet station yeah. available. Uh, all their omelets are pre-ordered or, and it's mainly cheese omelets. I, I don't know if that's a cost savings or whatever, but, um, other cruise ships have omelet stations. Yeah. But I think the positive value is a negative on the buffet. Yes. So, yeah. So. Good job, MSC, on the food. Yes. We're, we were impressed. As far as the cabin that we have, we have the Aria Suite. The, the cabin is very nice. There's a positive and there's a negative. Um, you want to do the positive? Or the yeah, I'll do the positive. You'll do the positive. Um, I, I think it's excellent storage area for, uh, for what you get. I mean, for everything you have to put away. I think our, our cabin was designed really in mind with thought I mean for accessibility and stuff like that and so you know it depends on the cabin but for our cabin we felt like we had a lot of good storage yes um, a downfall um, is 
well, positive and a negative. It has a glass door on the shower, which is a good thing, especially you don't want to deal with a shower curtain. But at the same time, the shower is tiny. Um, I mean, I, I'm fine. You just don't have much movement room as far as elbows and things like that. But it's a nice little bathroom. Um, the bathroom is not huge, um, but most cruise ship bathrooms no, are not, not huge. But the shower being an enclosed shower probably could be a little bit bigger or a different shape or something. But it's small. I mean, we make it work. I mean, we fit in there. It's yeah. just moving around. It's kind of you're kind of stable while you're taking a shower. So that's the only downfall, I think, or the only negative yeah, the only ones of I've the cabin. The cabin's very comfortable, the beds are comfortable. Yep. I mean, I like a firm bed, and I think it's pretty firm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you like a soft, cushy bed, it's not gonna be soft and cushy, but it's not so firm that it's uncomfortable. So, good job on the cabins. So let's talk about the drinks on MSC, as far as like cocktails and things like that. So, um, I'm gonna let William tell the positive okay the drinks I think were really great um, good variety strong for the alcohol part uh, and you know I mean it's just that uh, we had the easy plus package which gave you you know a variety of what you could choose from I mean you weren't nailed into only like five selections you had several selections the easy plus package you get any drink ten dollars and less and if you go over that, you just pay the difference. Pay the difference, yeah. Yeah. But the drink menu for Easy Plus is very has a great variety and includes water, sodas. Oh, that's um, the other good mixed thing. Mixed drinks, frozen drinks, beers. There's a lot of options. We so, had no problem finding something we enjoy with our drink package. So if you need to get bottles of water, you, I mean, it's not like I mean you can stop at the bar anytime and get as many as you want. You're not yeah. limited. Yeah, they don't. He can easily go get me a drink and him a drink and they never question it. Yeah. Yep. The only negative I see with the bar service and things like that is I feel like they need a few more crew members helping with the bar service. There's a, Most of the bars are very, very busy and very, um, it, the bartenders are working hard, but I feel like they need help. Um, also, some of the bar, the venues need more servers, like the Cabaret Rouge. Yes. I, Cabaret Rouge. Um, you had. It's a nice venue, we enjoy that venue, but we feel like if you're gonna have to get a drink, you need to go over to the bar, which is not a huge problem, but the bar wait is long. Yeah. Right, I mean, for, the, for us it is. So, I just think they just need a little extra crew, but you can look around on the ship and find some bars that are not so busy. And finally, I think one of the positives, definitely positives of MSC is the entertainment. Um, you have to go in with the mindset that this ship is European. And I like it because it's something different. And we have theater shows, and um, you do have to make a reservation for that, but it's easy, you do it on your phone on the app. Um, but we have did, we have theater shows in the large theater, but there's also, our favorite venue has been the um, Cabaret Rouge. Rouge. Yeah, the Cabaret Rouge. It is like, it looks kind of like a multi-level nightclub kind of thing but they have a stage and at night from 7 30 to like 10 they have a variety show and it's really neat because it, it just rotates through different acts you don't have to stay for the whole thing um and has very comfortable seating in there last night we saw two wonderful singers we had a violinist that also sang and she was amazing there was even a juggler last night and none of them are super long so if you if it's not your cup of tea you know you just watch that part and then they'll bring somebody else out but they have such and it's truly a variety because they have so many different types of acts that you're going to find something you like did you have a favorite last night the violinist probably yeah the violinist well, she's is really too. good <laughs> she's um, really good yeah she was from france um yeah. uh, I think the the, act, the activity staff is so energetic and mm -hmm. so involved, and they're really involved with the staff, even getting on the dance floor with them and stuff and getting yeah. them motivated. The deck party was amazing. Oh my gosh, we went oh to the, we went to the white party last night, and how those how those crew members, I mean entertainment staff, went that long and that hard and dancing. I, I got tired <laughs> but um, the white party is something you don't want to miss if it's on your agenda 
um, we just everybody really did wear like something white. white. Most people did, and it was rocking. The white party did have an eclectic um, type kind of music, you know, which we enjoyed because we just love everything multicultural. We love learning about different cultures and music and all that, and they taught you dances. And that party went on long because we stayed there for about an hour. An hour. And I will say, do not stand way back by the bar. Walk, go up to the very front of that stage and participate. You will have the best time because the crew members also are there and they've got like the white on and they got like face paint and yep. they dance with you. I mean, that's another thing that William was, William was, um, and I were talking about. Even the first night we went to the disco, crew members were on the um, dance floor with us and that's just cool. I mean, they really get the crowd hyped up. Yep. So, Good job, MSC, on your entertainment. I like the variety. Don't change just because American people want you to change. Because <laughs> I like it. Because I like the experience of something new. I'd like to say this is a very great positive um, for your participation in celebrating veterans and your veterans program. Um, it is great. Um, it was a good turnout and everything. Thank you, MSC. A lot of other companies don't recognize the veterans, and not just American veterans. They recognize also other country veterans that uh, you know are there and give their service. And they recognize the families and you know for their sacrifices as well. Thank you again, MSC, for that. So he he likes the veterans programs and he likes them on Carnival and MSC. That's his favorites now. Yep. So that's the end of this video. We hope you enjoy seeing our likes and dislikes of MSC. We will be back. Um, we said we're going to try it for four days and if yeah. we liked it, we might do something longer. And I would do the seashore yes. again. I would yes. do the yes. ship again. I, I, mean, I, I would, would definitely do it again. Yeah. So um, we feel like the, the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. And if you're hearing a lot of negative stuff about MSC, you need to try it out for yourself. because. Yep. You will love it. As we said before, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we invite you to do so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as we always like to say, don't forget to journey, journey on. on. Bye. If you like this video, check out the video to the left where we share with you what we ate for dinner each night on the MSC Seashore and give you our honest review. 